Welcome back into Main Street Living. Here we are continuing to celebrate AHNHPI Heritage Month. We want to show you the final segment of the Orange County Grantmakers video series spotlighting the AANHPI population in their community. Yeah, Danielle, uh, the Asian American, Native Hawaiian, and Pacific Islander communities in Orange County, California, are producing young leaders who are creating paths to make the future brighter for everyone in the region. Take a look. I think we, as young new leaders, are very creative because we have a very rich history. We are that 1.5 and second generation that we have to figure out a lot of things on our own. We have been equity advocates since we were children because our parents did not know how to speak English. And now we, we are going through uh, the pandemic and we have survived the pandemic. So we're very resourceful and we believe, truly believe in the power of collectivism. As a young leader, I'm, I'm definitely inspired by seeing just brand new community members. I'm just stepping up and just taking on leadership roles or just people who want to be just more involved. Whether they're in high school or they're senior citizens, we've seen a wide range and that's just very inspiring to see because it doesn't matter how long we've been involved in community work, as long as we want to take that, that first step, that's, that's to me is a huge step that um, we all need to be able to work together. I believe young people, uh, young Asian, young Vietnamese people are playing a really big role in shifting the ways that uh, immigrant refugee communities are heard in Orange County. Um, there's been a lot of changes in the past few years where local leaders are starting to respond more to their needs, but there's also a lot of changes in the way that we collaborate. And so I hope young people continue to feel like their experiences matter, that they're being heard, um, but I also know and am confident that they're going to continue to speak up for what they believe in, continue to organize and build solidarity with the communities around them. Some of the trends that I have been noticing, and this is specifically for the Filipino American community, is that in Orange County, we're starting to see various different Filipino American groups pop up in various spaces. And it's like the Filipino American community is finding its voice in Orange County. Um, there are various groups that are involved in uh, businesses, entrepreneurships, uh, working with ways to help local businesses thrive. But at the same time, those organizations are doing their due diligence to connect with community members. As young leaders, we are truly a force to be reckoned with because we are here for the, the right reason. We have run on so little resources and sometimes nothing, but we cannot always run on passion. We need help and we need support and we need trust from the funder and all those that, that before us so we can be included in the important conversation. There are new leaders, fresh ideas, and there are people who actually who have been around for quite some time, but they just did, did not have the opportunity or didn't have um, the avenues to show who they are. And during this pandemic, you really were able to see who were actually in the community centers, who were actually working on the ground. So what is new is that there's visibility. And at this moment, we are being listened to. Wow, Danielle, um, I have to say, this has been a really great series in uh, getting a different viewpoint uh, regarding the Asian American, Native Hawaiian, and Pacific Islander communities. That's right. You can find more information or watch the full video series at ocgrantmakers.org. Well, uh, stick around because up next, we got some tips on the way for healthy summer travel. I don't know if I need those tips. <laughs> 